This morning, only a few days left in Georgia's Senate runoff. President Obama will be there today to campaign alongside the incumbent Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock. This is the eve of the final day of early voting, where voter turnout over the last few days has been setting records. I was in Georgia on Monday. I spoke with some of the Georgia voters who were casting those votes early to talk about what was at the top of their minds. What were they thinking about when they went to the ballot box? I also had a chance to speak with Senator Warnock himself. With days left in Georgia's high-stakes Senate race, voters are swarming polling locations and shattering early voting records. What was important to you as you were in there casting your ballot? Well, the important thing is the economy. I am concerned about women's rights, um, civil rights. More than one million Georgians have already voted, surpassing early turnout from past presidential elections as voters decide between incumbent Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and his Republican challenger, Herschel Walker. This race is about Georgia. This race is about who is going to represent 11 million people. Neither candidate reached the 50 percent threshold in November, throwing Georgia into its second Senate runoff election since January 2021. And the outcome this time will determine whether Democrats have 50 Senate seats or 51. The stakes couldn't be higher. Uh, and the contrast between me and my opponent could not be more obvious. It is time we get this right. And the way we get it right by putting me in the Senate, because I'm not going to dance and sing for nobody. I never have and never will. Both Warnock and Walker are courting the more than 200,000 Georgians who voted for Republican Governor Brian Kemp, but not Walker, whose campaign has been plagued by scandals, including allegations that he paid for abortions despite opposing the procedure. You saw something that doesn't happen in Georgia. These split ticket voters, I think they can see the contrast. And I think we're going to see the results of that next week. While Kemp has endorsed Walker, Warnock is directly appealing to Kemp's voters with ads like this one. At the end of the day, I have to vote for someone that I can trust and that has integrity. And I don't believe that is Herschel Walker. One Georgian who voted for the Republican governor, but not the Republican Senate candidate, explained to CNN why. Just based on the character, the, the the interviews we've had, the type of stuff that Herschel Walker says, I'm of the opinion he'll say pretty much anything to get elected. Walker enjoys strong name recognition from his time as a Georgia Bulldog, but despite winning the Heisman Trophy in 1982, some voters say his accomplishments on the gridiron shouldn't matter at the polls. I'm a great fan of Herschel on the football field. He has shown me nothing that would lead me to believe he would be a, a competent senator. Two voters who are supporting Walker in Tuesday's runoff election say inflation and the economy were top of mind, but not former President Trump's endorsement of Walker. Was that a factor? No. no. And why not? Because the Republican Party is more than President Trump, okay? Yeah. We're not all mega people. That was a sentiment that I heard from other voters there on the ground in Georgia. We should note we did reach out to the Walker campaign to interview them, but they declined. What did you leave... Uh, feeling because you were there one week to the day before the election. Georgia voters are sick of runoffs. <laughs> they feel like they've been voting nonstop because, you know, they had that yeah. runoff the last time around with David Perdue, yeah. Kelly Leffler. That's what sent Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff to the Senate. They're no, like, just two years we've, been, ago. we've been voting a lot. We've been very exercising our right uh, quite often.